So in this lesson, we are going to create a custom email address. Now, this is super important because as a business owner, you want to appear like a legit business. And what happens when you do business with somebody and you see that they're using some sort of Gmail, Hotmail, or heaven forbid, AOL in their, in their email. So we, we want to have you guys look like a professional business because you are. And so we're going to do that now. Now, there's a lot of different email providers. A lot of them cost money. In this lesson, we're gonna do a free one. So if you log into your Squarespace account and then click on this domains tab, you'll see the domain that you just purchased. If you click on it, it'll open up. Now, if I go down to this email, you can see here this, this Google Workspace. And if you click get started, yep, yeah, seven bucks a month per user per month. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of there. And instead, we are going to do our own. And so you can see here, use a custom email address that matches your domain. Use a different email provider, add custom MX records. So before we do that, we're going to go over to Zoho Mail and you're gonna see three pricing tiers here. But if you scroll down, you're going to see a forever free plan. Up to five users, five gigabytes per user, 25 megabyte attachment limit. Now the only catch is you only have access to this uh, web access and mobile access. So you can download the Zoho Mail app on your phone. If you wanna use your computer though, you have to log in through a web browser not too bad for a free plan so go ahead and click sign up now on the free plan and you're going to want to enter in your name email address and a password and then agree to their terms of service and then sign up i'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and then we will jump on to the next step one important thing to point out is i would recommend to use your gmail address that you signed up for or that you already have because you can't use your custom email address yet. So use your Gmail address that you have or that you created for this step. After you've created an account, it's gonna ask you to verify, so it's gonna send you a code to your Gmail address. So I've already grabbed that. I'm just gonna enter it in here and click verify. It'll ask to send you notifications. Since this is being used in a web browser only, I'd recommend to click allow. And now it says, welcome to Zoho Mail. So now it's going to ask you if you already own a domain or if you'd like to purchase a new one. Since we've already purchased, we're gonna click add an existing domain and it wants you to provide your domain. So we're gonna do the domain we just purchased. An organization name and an industry type. Then after you've entered in that information, we're gonna click Add Now. It says, congrats, your domain jetscreations.com added successfully. You need to prove that you own this domain. So this is how we're gonna do it. So for security, security reasons, you need to verify your ownership. You can create this by using one of the following methods. Please note that it won't affect your existing email or domain management services. So it wants you to add a text record, TXT record. So we could do that. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and copy this code. We're gonna go back to Squarespace domains. We're going to go to the DNS settings and we want to add a new record. So we're gonna click on add record here. Now the host, we're gonna just leave blank for now. We're gonna select the type, which is a TXT and we're going to paste in the value that we saw. Now, it also says you can type in at for this host name. So you're gonna type in at and click save. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna go back to the Zoho mail and we're going to verify text record. And looks like we're all good. It says you've now verified your domain ownership. You are now the super administrator of this organization. Create your domain-based email. 
So now we're going to create a custom email and it already puts at jetscreations.com. So we're gonna hit create. We're gonna wait for everything to load. And now we have a custom email address. We can click on it and edit the information here. And go ahead and save those changes and go back. And now we see we have the right name and email address. So it's gonna ask you to go through a couple more steps here, but they're very simple. So it just wants you to proceed to go set up groups. I don't think I really wanna create a group right now. You certainly could. But I'm just gonna to go to uh, this MX record. So now we're gonna add those records that it wants us to add. And we're gonna do that back in Squarespace. So if we go to our domains tab in Squarespace, click on that and then click on the DNS settings, we're going to see the custom record we just created and then we're gonna to have to add a few more. So let's go ahead and click add record and we'll go back to Zoho. It wants us to create some of these MX records. So the type we're gonna say MX and it tells us we're gonna use the at symbol and then we can just copy this right here and go back on the host name we're gonna use the at symbol priority I believe it said priority 10 so we're gonna put that there and we're gonna put that there now we're going to add the second one copy this we're going to put the at symbol again priority is said to do 20 and then that let me just go verify that yep we're good go ahead and click so we do have to specify that MX record and then click Save we'll add another record and we'll just keep on going through these records until they are complete. So for this record here, we've already done all the MX records. It does want us to do this if we haven't already. Let's just go see if we have. So this one looks a little different. So we're going to go ahead and create another one. I believe it still wants us to use the at symbol. And this is a text. Yep. Good there, no priority, and then we'll add that there. And then we have one more. We're gonna copy that one first. So this is another text record. We'll go add a record. We'll paste that in, select the TXT, and then we'll copy this as well. And we'll hit save. Okay, so we should have all of those entered in, and we are going to now verify all records. It is possible that it doesn't go through, but it actually looks like it did. So it does say it could take up to a day. So if it if you try to verify it and it doesn't go through, I just wait a day and then go back. So now we can go to proceed to email migration, which I don't need to do. I'm gonna go proceed to mobile, and it says click here to download our mobile apps. I've already done that, so you go ahead and do that, and then proceed to setup completion, and it says your setup is complete. You're now ready to begin your journey with Zoho Mail. So now you can send and receive emails using your custom email address. I would recommend to test it out first so that you can make sure that everything's sending properly. 
So go ahead and you can say check out your inbox. So I'm going to go to check out my inbox. And it has a little welcome. You can go through and set your settings here. You can create an email signature. I'd recommend to do that. Create a theme or set a theme. And then now it says access Zoho Mail. So now you can see you have a little welcome email there. So I am now going to just test this out. So I'm going to send an email. Say test. Did this work? And just verify the uh, emails correct. And I'm going to go ahead and hit send. So now in my Gmail, I'm going to go back. And what do you know? I already got the email. So I'm going to just send a reply. Yes, it worked. You know, you're awesome. Whatever positive info, positive message you want to send back. Go ahead and click send. And let's go back here. We can hit a refresh. I'm sure there's another place to refresh that, but we'll, uh, we'll see. We can go ahead and open those up so that they're marked as red. It's great. And while we were doing that, the response came in. Yes, it worked. You're awesome. Yeah, you now have an email address that works. So go ahead and start sending, receiving emails using this custom email address. Pat yourself on the back. I know this can be a little bit of an intimidating process, especially when creating these records. It's very foreign, but if you stick to this step, you should be just fine. So go send some emails to some prospective customers or clients.